HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. Hello, and welcome to HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we have highlights from the Hopkinton High School annual spring talent show. We preview the 2016 Hillers softball team, and Courtney will get you up to date with the latest programming coming up on the HCAM channels. But first, HCAM News recently caught up with Fire Chief Stephen Slammon to talk about his transition into the role and what the fire department is doing to prepare for the Boston Marathon. Steven Slammon was the only candidate left standing in the initial search process for a fire chief after the other final candidate, current Framingham Chief Gary Darty, dropped his candidacy just prior to a selectman meeting in December. Selectmen initially decided to reopen the search process. While appointing Steven Slammon as interim chief, many residents expressed disagreement with the decision to reopen the search process during the public forum at the following meeting in January. Selectmen readdressed the fire chief position at the January 5th meeting and decided to appoint Steven Slammon as fire chief until the final final day in March and in the meantime decide if the search process should be reopened. At the April 5th meeting, Selectman complimented and expressed satisfaction with Stephen Slammon and officially appointed him Hopkinton Chief on a permanent basis. I asked Chief Stephen Slammon his thoughts about the process. I kind of was familiar with just what's happening in other organizations and you know I knew that they have to look hard that the fire chief spot, spot is the top spot and uh, I knew they needed to make sure they, they had the right person in the top spot. So for me, um, I knew I had to do my work, uh, bring my A game, and um, my perspective saw that there were some circumstances outside of their control and outside of my control, so you know, it wasn't such a struggle for me. I, I had to focus on the job, and uh, I kind of understood uh, where they were. Um, I'm proud that the community, the way the community um, reacted, that really helps me with my confidence and having that support behind me. So um, uh, I'm happy for the ending. Uh, can you talk about your transition into the role and some of the differences with uh, what you had to do uh, compared to when you were deputy chief? Well, that's a good question. Um, I worked under Chief Clark and uh, I worked as deputy for him for seven years and he allowed me to be involved in most of the operations of the fire department so I've been lucky that that uh, deputy chief slot was like the transition into chief. Um, we've, we're working on marathon right now and he allowed me to be involved in that. Uh, the budgets, some of the uh, apparatus uh, committee for replacement so it's kind of been uh, my whole career it's kind of been a development process and uh, many thanks to him for allowing that. It's been pretty busy since you've taken over as a fire chief. There's been a few fires and a lot of things going on. Sure. Has it made it a little harder to transition into the role with how busy it's been? Uh, I would say it's uh, helped, if anything. Um, there's no sitting back and wondering about anything we're doing right now. It's uh, We've been straightforward in all our projects. The emergency call volume has um, increased as we've usually we tend to have even some little uh, quiet times maybe during the spring but uh, not this year at all and not last year either so I think this is kind of the new normal for Hopkinton we're a growing community there's a lot of demand on us and uh, I bet you we're on our uh, 10 11th 12th call today it's been a crazy day Wow and uh, speaking of being busy the Boston Marathon coming up uh, could you talk about the fire department's role in getting ready for the Boston Marathon sure um it, it literally is almost a year-round event for us. Um, we'll run the marathon this year and uh, after the marathon we'll have some post-marathon meetings where we uh, review how things went. Um, literally during the summer we start scheduling next year's process. When we're going to meet again, it's fully ramped up by September. 
So there's really not much downtime. Uh, the downtime gives us a chance internally just to kind of review how we went, make any uh, corrections towards the future, and, uh, and then start meeting with all the uh, outside people that we work with. So is there a lot of meetings this week in uh, planning everything? Yeah, today we ran the uh, exercise where we work through MEMA. MEMA does a little uh, uh, tabletop type of scenario for all of the public safety officials from Hopkinton into Boston. And uh, we do um, live demonstrations of scenarios we might run into. It gives us a chance to test our systems, kind of make sure we have resources for all the type of anticipated problems we went into. and. Uh, test our uh, emergency operations center to make sure it's flowing good and, and it went well today. Um, we had that and we were running the operations of the town at the same time so everybody was all hands today and they did well. All right well congratulations once again and we look forward to seeing you around. Hey thank you very much appreciate the time. For more about Fire Chief Steven Slammon be sure to check our website hcam.tv. Last year, the Hopkinton Hillers softball team went undefeated in the TVL and finished the season 19-1 and before losing in the quarterfinals of the postseason. This year, counselor at the high school and experienced volleyball and softball coach Kylie Murray has taken over as head coach and will be assisted by Hopkinton High School Wellness Director Bruce Elliott. Bruce has coached baseball at a high level and is looking forward to helping the Hillers softball team have continued success. I recently caught up with the Hillers new softball coaches. In the 2015 season, the Hopkinton Hillers softball team went undefeated in the TVL and finished 19-1 and overall. The Hillers reached the quarterfinals of the South Division I bracket, and this year, many players have returned for the squad, hoping to get back to the postseason. The Hillers will be led defensively by pitcher Bree Mirabli, while first-year head coach Kylie Murray and first-year assistant coach Bruce Elliott look to continue the success of the Hillers softball program. So uh, first off, first year as head coach, uh, can you talk about your past experience and how you ended up becoming a head softball coach here at Hopkinton? Sure. So I actually started as a player in the HHS right next door. So that's where my background came from. And that was my first opportunity to coach softball as the assistant at Halston, assistant varsity coach. Um, then I went on to assist at Westboro. And then when I started here as a counselor in 2009, 2010, Coach Simos was looking for sub-varsity sub coaches, so I coached with Coach Simos for a while in this program, um, learned a great deal from him and had a really good time. I then kind of switched gears to focus more on volleyball, because I coached that over at Westboro. And then this year an opportunity came about with the sport that I love the most, and ooh, I shouldn't have said that for Westboro, I really like volleyball too, but it came, <laughs> it came to be an opportunity to get back to the sport, let's say that I know best and really am passionate about, so it was a no-brainer, especially working at Hockington and knowing these girls and what an awesome crew I had already, it was an easy decision. All right, excellent. Now, uh, how have the practices gone so far? We've had some wild weather. Is it interfering with getting ready for the season at all? No, I mean, I came in, I know that. I grew up here. I know what softball in New England is. I know what, you know, you can pretty much bank on preseason being longer than the schedule says. So we're doing the best we can inside. It is tough teaching new concepts when you can't be on the field so they can see it and, you know, rounding a flat base that slips on the, the, the court as opposed to a base that's out there to really push off of. But they're handling it really well. Um, it's given me a really good opportunity to see what we're working with. We've got a lot of new faces on the team. and. Most of them are new to me entirely, so we made the most of it. All right, now uh, Coach, this is also really your first year with the program. My first year, and first year in softball in general. I've, I've coached at a uh, pretty high level for baseball, uh, so it's been a, a little bit of an adjustment just with the game and the distance of the bases and <laughs> the, uh, the, the fact that there's an underhand <laughs> pitcher out there uh, throwing. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, it's, been a, it's been a good adjustment. It's been fun. The girls are great, as uh, Coach Murray said. Uh, they got a lot of talent, uh, which is great, on top of the willingness to, uh, to come out every day and work hard. So, yes, it's tough indoors right now, but we'll get outside here pretty quick and uh, really start putting together uh, a, a sound team. 
It's and, been, and a team yeah. that's going to challenge for not only the TBL but for the, the state playoff runs. Yeah. So. It's been actually a lot of fun playing off one another because I think we bring totally different things to this, but it's just really good. You know, I can be kind of the translator for Coach Elliott's yeah. terminology, you know, and, and he's teaching me a lot about raising the bar um, on what we can work for, you know. So I think it's been a great matchup. Now, a lot of great uh, returning players this year as well from last year's undefeated team in the uh, TVL. Uh, could you talk about what some of the strengths are of this particular team this year? Sure. Well, I'll tell you, I had the opportunity to meet with the captains before I met with the whole group before tryouts. And what struck me the most is how focused they are on one another and making this a great year for everyone in the program, not even just the varsity squad. They've been doing a lot to reach out to the underclassmen. They're talking a lot about their expectations and they're coming up with team expectations. And I love that. So they're really committed to one another and looking at it as a new season, a new coach, a new year. And we don't have a starting lineup set. We don't know what it is. So everyone is working really hard. And what I like the most is that they are trying to figure out how they can best support the team. So maybe they've been playing in a position for a couple of years. They recognize that they might need to be somewhere else to help our team. Um, and they've really accepted that and are really focused on that. All right, Coach, anything you want to add? Um, I just I have to second what Coach Murray says, that uh, we don't have a set lineup yet. We're, we're, we're still trying to find out strengths and weaknesses and, and, and improve on those, those weaknesses too as well at the same time. Um, we're putting a lot of new systems in, if you will, and the terminology is probably the biggest thing that uh, we're, we're, we're adjusting to right now. So I think uh, as soon as we get outside, that's going to be where the light bulbs go off and the, the level of play starts to really jump and increase. So I think we're going to be, I know we're going to be much different at the end of the season versus where we are right now. And I, girls are going to be pleasantly surprised by the time we get there. All right, well, we're looking forward to the season. Thank you. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Coming up next on HKM News, we will hear from the Hillers softball captains and we have highlights from an incredible Hopkinton High School talent show. A lot more ahead. Stay tuned. HKM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Do you have what it takes? Will you make a difference? Always an adventure. Police and fire working together. Utilizing the latest technology. Do you have what it takes? Welcome back to HKM News. The Hiller softball team has a number of returning players this year, including pitcher Bree Mirabli and infielder Kate Welzell. Mirabli went 6-1 with a .48 ERA last season and made several successful starts and relief appearances during the season. Kate Welzell provided solid defense and a great bat to the Hillers lineup as she hit a .368 at the plate. I caught up with this year's captains to talk about the upcoming season. So um, you're back after a, a great season last yeah. year. How, how does it feel to be back at practice? Um, it feels really good. I think we have a great team atmosphere this year and we're really excited. You know, we've been going out on like Friday nights together as a team and bonding. And so everyone's really excited for the season. Everyone's looking forward to getting back at and definitely getting back outside. I know. Um, I think everyone really wanted to get outside this week and we were looking forward to it, but then it snowed. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, but that just means we'll get to go later. Now getting ready from a pitcher's perspective, has the weather affected you at all or maybe slowed you down a bit getting ready for the season? Um, I think I and everyone has been training inside during the off season. So as far as pitching goes, it doesn't really slow me down because I've been working out indoors and this is just more indoors. It's just extending that. 
Obviously, I think I, along with everyone else, would love to get back on the dirt, but that's just not a reality at this moment. Now, last season, uh, you had uh, several great starts, and uh, this year the starting role is yours. How does it feel to be the main pitcher for the Hillers this season? Um, it feels good. You know, I feel like after being on varsity for two years, I finally have a chance to step up and do my part for the team and have such a big impact and be able to set a good tone. That's really what I want to do is to be able to pitch, hopefully let my fielders ease up on their work a little, little bit, and then just really work on setting a good tone and then bringing momentum into games so that the team can win. All right, how's it been working uh, with this new coaching staff so far? I love Coach Murray and Coach Elliott. They're awesome. I think they've really clicked with the girls well. Everyone's having a great time personality-wise. Everything's working out. I think it's going to be a really good season, and I can't wait to see what we do. So how has uh, practice been so far for you? I know we had some crazy snowy weather. Is it slowing you down at all? No, I think everyone's like really... Their intensity is up because they want to be outside so much that they know they got to put in 20, like 100% every day because it's really just like motivating them that the more they put in now, the better it will show when we actually get the chance to be out on the field. Has there been any part of your game that you, uh, you've been concentrating on specifically in this offseason to get better for this year? Um, for me, it's definitely been hitting. Um, I really like, I'm determined to really get my 100th hit this year. I'm on track for it. And it's really something that I think that I could do to help the team. And like, it's one of those things that once a hit starts, like everyone on the team, like one after another, everyone's like got that groove going. So I really hope that I could be one of those stars and spark it for the season. Uh, how's your experience been uh, working with this new coaching staff? You enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's definitely, it's fun. Um, Mr. Coach Ali and I have a fun relationship. I, it's baseball background. I give him a hard time for it with all of his terms and like vocab and everyone knows that we're all joking around but it's fun because it's just a new atmosphere and everyone's positive everyone's enthusiastic Miss Murray's awesome she's like in the school you see her all the time it's always great that everyone's getting into it and they really like are passionate about it and that's what really resonates with the rest of us all right now you hit a 368 last year in the regular season you think you're gonna beat that this year I'm really hoping so <laughs> um, again like I said it's something I've been focusing on and I think as a senior, like you want to go out strong, you want to go out with a big bang, and like I said, it's something I want to like do to the team so that they can see like they can get to this point, like they're gonna work, they work hard like I have in the past season, like everyone's like capable of doing it. So I, I really hope so. I think that I have the potential to, so we'll see how it goes. All right, well we're looking forward to the season. <laughs> Thank you. To stay up to date with the latest information on Hiller Sports, be sure to check our website or our Facebook and Twitter pages. Hopkinton High School hosted their annual spring talent show and a lot of great acts were on hand. Here's a look at the talented performers.
lookout for the talent show airing in its entirety soon on HCAM. For more about what's coming up on the HCAM channels, here is Courtney with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, April 15th at 8 p.m., Lisa Nickerson discusses why and how she supports Keep Smiling for Abby on Hopkinton Coffee Break. Just because you haven't had a reaction doesn't mean you won't. Right. right. And this just stuff. because it yeah. only happens like this, or this only happens, it doesn't mean next time won't be entirely different. On Monday, April 18th at 7 p.m., women in world jazz play original songs to finish off their performance on a new Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. I know it can be. Someday we will all see. Somehow we will learn from our mistakes. We're only human if we can forgive, truly live and let live. We will know how blessed it is to be so free. On Tuesday, April 19th at 6.30 p.m., methods to reduce pain naturally, such as nutrition, diet, and exercise, are discussed in the Hopkinton Holistic Health Speaker Series. And on HCAM Ed, Hopkins students show off their creativity in Hopkins Got Talent, and the Kenyan runners are welcomed and celebrated at Elmwood in Scholars and Stars Day. Visit hcam.tv ed for program dates and times. If you want to know more about all of HCAM's shows, visit hcam.tv connect to sign up for our HCAM Insider Newsletter. And if you want to know about other Hopkinton events, check out our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Right now on our website, hcam.tv, 
You can find the latest Hopkinton related news, including details about many Boston Marathon happenings around Hopkinton. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care and thank you for watching. Open door.